Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So we've just had qualifying for the Hungarian Grand Prix and it's McLaren who are strongest, with Lando Norris going fastest and Oscar Piastri taking P2. Now I think from practice it was clear that McLaren were going to be very strong, but I didn't think they'd be 1 and 2, simply because Max Verstappen was looking pretty strong. But even though Max put in some pretty good laps, the front of the car just wasn't as hooked up as the McLarens were through the corners meaning he went third fastest. And speaking about it, Verstappen said, The whole weekend, we've been a little bit behind, and that was also the case in qualifying. I tried to make it as close as possible, but unfortunately just not enough. A bit difficult to pinpoint why that is. I would have liked a bit more grip, but it's just not there at the moment. P3 is still very close, but I just hope that tomorrow the car is good in the race, and at least we can follow them and see what we can do there. Now qualifying was unexpected conditions, with track conditions being much lower, as well as there being a bit of rain in the air. But if race day is hotter, I think it will play into Verstappen's hands. I mean, Red Bull have brought updates this weekend, and their long run pace was really good in hot conditions in practice. So let's see what happens tomorrow. But it's not good news for Sergio Perez, who crashed out in Q1. Now this was the last thing he needed. I mean, he's under pressure despite signing a new deal. With performance courses being reported, and crashing out in two qualifying sessions in a row, it's not going to help him. He's also only scored 15 points in 6 races, and I can't imagine he'll be gaining much more in Hungary. So even though there's also Belgium before the summer break, it's going to be tough for him to be within the reported 100 points of Verstappen by the break to meet his performance clause, given he's currently 137 points behind right now. And recently Red Bull team boss Christian Horner said, I sat down with him in the kitchen at my house and said, come on what's going on, is there something else? And he was like, no, I think I'm just overthinking things a bit too much. Now recently, Rebel advisor Dr. Helmut Marker was quoted by Austrian publication Kloin Zoyteng as saying that Liam Lawson was at the top of the list to succeed Perez. But do you think this will happen? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.